Yeah, okay. Hello, I'm Sylvia and I'm delighted to be able to talk to you today. I'm still had news, I got my voice. I was never silent. I was conversing with the wrong people. During fourth year of high school, my life took a turn. I came to school every day, trying to work out my family problems. I became less ambitious. There was no one there to say, you're doing great, reach for the stars. MCR came into my life, sorry, MCR came into my school at the end of fourth year and said they're looking to assist talented young people like me and asked if I wanted a mentor. At that moment, I thought, great, more social workers. I then came to learn that it was nothing like that. In fact, I would be getting guidance from an adult that didn't have any authority over me. And that's all I needed, someone to listen. MCR does a great job matching their mentors with young people based on personality and interest. My first mentor was a youthful and sweet young girl. She studied the course I was looking to study, however, I didn't feel like we connected. I voiced this out and MCR listened. We both got the match and this time it was perfect. Chrissy, my new mentor, she heard me loud and clear. We bounced off of each other and everyone could see this. MCR Pathway saw me and made it so others could also see. Not long after joining the Young Scottish Chapel, I became an ambassador, working alongside and representing, and representing young, talented individuals who have experienced hardship. I've also worked closely with many MCR staff. I met Claire, who's sitting right over there. <laughs> for the first time and we became friends ever since. Thank you, sorry I lost my mind. As ambassadors, we found that we had a lot in common. Yes, some of us had a rough childhood, but we were all focused on making our future bright. As an ambassador, I've gained an immense amount of knowledge and experience. I performed at the Kelvin Group as um, YSC's um, Reach to the Future exhibition and then at the World of South Wales Club in Performing Arts Showcase. We celebrated Ian McLeachie's St. Monkey's Award at the Black City Chambers with a few success stories from my fellow ambassadors. One of them was an expressive speech for myself. A memorable moment for Claire and I was when she asked me to write a speech for an educational physiology conference for care experience from people. Before writing it, I took time to think about my audience. I thought about the young people in YSD that I would represent, and I decided that the social workers and head teachers in the room had to hear our voices. At the final part of my speech, I boldly stated that they all had to do better. University was always the goal, yet after my past, I wasn't as ambitious as before. My mentor, Chrissy, supported me during my university application. She was always there to encourage me to aim high. I was truly lucky to have MCR because my school wasn't as supportive as I thought it would be. Thanks to them, my personal statement was packed with experience. During my daunting interview at the University of St. Andrews, I got asked about my experience as an ambassador for MCR Pathways. I thought, ah, now this is something I can talk about because I'm really passionate about it. Fast forward to today, I'm going into my second year studying psychology at the University of St. Andrews. I've found my people. I've celebrated my culture at an annual fashion show in Greece, where my role was pressing the hair of the models. This summer, I was invited to be an intern at MCR MCR Pathways. With a bunch of YST leavers, our role was to curate the leavers club, an online space where MCR young people that are thinking of leaving school can start to work on their future. Finally, I would like to say that this success story is not due to luck, it's due to hard work and fearlessness. People like Claire O'Hara worked so hard to spark up the lives of so many young people. Knowing that she's been, that she has been and will always be there, inspires me to be an adult like her. She said to me, 
You are fabulous, articulate. You are a fabulous, articulate black woman who, sorry for my French, excuse my French, who kicks ass. I think, <laughs> I think I may be already reflecting the positive traits of the Ezra I want. Thank you for hearing me.